Hi everyone, happy Thursday. Hope you are enjoying your day. I'm getting very excited for this evening because tonight we begin the festival of Shavuot and as part of our celebrations of that holiday we'll also of course be celebrating the confirmation of our 10th grade Healthman Religious School students. So I'm very excited about this evening. I hope you'll join us tonight uh, for that service and to gather together symbolically in a way to reenact what happened at Mount Sinai. Shavuot is the holiday at which we celebrate that momentous moment when God revealed the commandments to Moses and in turn transformed the Jewish people into a new sort of nation. At Mount Sinai, for the first time, the Jewish people became who they were and fulfilled their identity, not just as a political gathering, but instead as a community of learners. Shavuot is the time that we celebrate the fact that we are who we are because of the things that we have learned and the ways that we continue to teach each other. These last few weeks, I know all of us have learned a lot of things we didn't expect to learn in the past. Some of us have learned new skills. Some of us have taken up baking or knitting or reading or writing or an instrument. And some of us have used this time to learn new things about ourselves about our relationships, about the people that we love, about who we want to be and how we want to act in this world that looks so different than it did just a few months ago. And so as we enter into the festival of Shavuot tonight, as we enter into the fullness of ourselves as learners and teachers, I want to encourage all of you to continue thinking about what the most valuable things are that you have learned over the last few months and maybe more importantly, how are you going to use these new insights to teach others, to teach the world, to teach your children, your friends, your parents, your neighbors and coworkers about what it means to be a person of faith and conscience, about what it means to be part of an ethical, principled community that strives every day to repair a broken world. So I want to wish you all uh, a Chag Sameach a little bit early, a Shabbat Shalom a little bit early as we make it into this long weekend of celebration and joy, rest and fulfillment. Chag Sameach.